Of course, I want to thank you for the interest you showed in, in our beautiful and charming city. Uh, I hope that uh, it will not be the, your last visit here in the city. I know that uh, you already promised that you will be here again. Sure. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Mr. Mayor, thank you for your uh, wonderful hospitality. And it has been a spectacular 24 hours in Elat. I just finished snorkeling. So my hair doesn't look so good. I, I went down and uh, saw the beautiful coral reef. and. Uh, we got to do everything we can to preserve that. And obviously, I uh, have gone to um, the Arva Institute for Environmental Studies, which we, uh, the U.S. Embassy funds, the American taxpayers, helps give a bunch of money for a bunch of the programs that are done there, which not only allow people to study uh, um, not only the oceans, but study with uh, both Palestinians, Jordanians, Israelis alike, and to be able to bring communities together. Uh, I have had really a... You know, I've been to a lot many times as prior before I became the ambassador, and it is the mayor's right. It's a gorgeous city, and I just uh, got back uh, from this beautiful port and spent two hours uh, at the port and understand how important and vital the port is to the uh, vibrancy of this uh, uh, of the city. And uh, our U.S. Navy uh, uses this port as well. Uh, exceptionally important to, for you to host the Navy here, uh, and we have obviously have a close personal relationship with the city uh, and making uh, the relationship between the U.S. Uh, Navy and Elad a partnership, which is, I think is really important. So I'm, this is a, for us, uh, for the Americans, um, Elad represents everything what's great about Israel. It's dynamic, it's diverse, um, uh, it's interesting, uh, and it's a lot of fun, okay? Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I think that's what's really important about uh, a lot vis-a-vis uh, um, Israel and for the United States. And when you look out the window, as people pointed out to me, uh, you can see, uh, you can see uh, Jordan across, uh, Egypt, uh, and Saudi Arabia. If you really look far, uh, where else in the world is that possible? Okay, So you are the gateway to the world, uh, and I'm honored to be your friend and honored to be here uh, on Elat. So I'm more than happy to take a few questions. If you have questions you want to ask, yes. shoot away. My name is Monique, I'm from the Israeli News, uh, Israeli Now, Israel Ayom, probably mm. you know about it. I've heard that. Yeah, you have. <laughs> and I have also my uh, news agency here in Elat. Um, we just learned that the pre President of the United States, Joe Biden, we said, announced yesterday that he's going to be the next president, or he's going to uh, participate, okay, running, running for the, another uh, term. So what do you think about it? And also, it was the middle one, and we just understand that maybe Trump is going back? So. Okay, well, I am, uh, as you know, I'm the American ambassador. I, uh, as the American ambassador, I try not to involve myself in politics. However, okay. um, <coughs> don't tell the people in Washington. I think, I think what President Biden said is that obviously he's inclined to uh, run again. No formal announcement's been made, and he probably will not make a formal announcement, I don't believe, till sometime uh, early next year, which is obviously um, generally the practice, and I think he'll follow that as well. Um, I can't comment on Donald Trump or his plans. Uh, he'll uh, determine that on his own. So uh, there's certainly a possibility that he could run, as I read the newspapers like you do, but uh, I, I only do diplomacy now, so I no longer do politics. But what about Trump? Well, I just said I think uh, President Trump... Um, uh, again, I don't get involved with okay. politics, uh, but he has obviously indicated he is uh, desirous of running. You know, again, I'm, uh, I'm not smart enough to get uh, into the minds of, uh, of former presidents or even current ones, so okay. I'll let other people manage that. Sure. Yes, yes. Um, you was the first that uh, tweet for the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, the elected one. You, def you was the first. Is it possibly, or are you accepted as USA, uh, United States, that Ben Gvir or Smutrik you know, uh, will be the defense minister? And will uh, it's possible? First of all, um, I, I was one of the first people to, uh, to tweet uh, congratulations. This is a vibrant democracy. Uh, you had more people show up in this election. Almost 72% uh, of voters showed up. 
Uh, I, by my, I make a point higher than the United States. Um, it's a democracy. Yes, uh, it's a democracy, and the and the and the voters have um, uh, elected uh, president or president, prime minister Netanyahu. Um, I don't comment on ultimately who he will pick on which ministries uh, for which individuals. I'm not aware. I don't know. Uh, and obviously, we are, we support the state of Israel. It's an unbreakable tie between our two countries, uh, and we will work. Uh, with Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, to continue those unbreakable ties. But you mentioned this morning, as I, I, I just read in one of the newspaper, uh, about uh, the annexation. Um, you visit Jordan, you visit Aqaba, but you mentioned this morning about it. What happened um, I did an in Shumron? I did it, yeah, I did an interview um, and someone asked a question. Um, uh, does he, you know, does he ask me a variety of different questions, but what, what would the United States uh, say about someone advocating for annexation? I said, the United States um, uh, doesn't support annexation of the West Bank. That's been a clear position of this administration and previous administrations. So that, I was answering a question uh, that was posed to me, uh, but I just want to make sure everyone understands. From our perspective, uh, we... Uh, have an unbreakable tie with the state of Israel, okay? We work uh, closely with the democratically elected uh, government of the state of Israel. Um, I'm not gonna decide or to articulate which uh, members of, the, of his administration will, we will or won't work with, given the fact I have no idea who he's going to select. So what I do know is uh, Bibi Netanyahu will be the prime minister and I am uh, working, uh, will work with him uh, for, on behalf of uh, the bilateral relation between our two countries. You're welcome. Thank you. Do you want to ask some questions? Sure. Yes, Dorothy. Um, I do have some uh, few questions, please. Just a few? <laughs> <laughs> do I know about my swimming skills? <laughs> <laughs> How were you impressed by your short uh, visit to the, our region? With uh, What conclusions do you take uh, with you back to your um, work at the United uh, States Embassy? Like with your experience, not the politics. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, what, what is my experience in the last 24 hours? It is, it has, it's somewhere I've been before, just it's not my first time being in lot, but it has certainly in the last six years I've not been down here. It is beautiful, it is vibrant, it is energetic, and it's really important city to the vibrancy of Israel, of the country. So I encourage everyone to come and visit, as I have, spend some time here, do what I did, which is jump in the water, look at the coral, Go see, you know, go see the, you know, this unbelievable um, uh, shipyard where, you know, you know, chips are coming from all over the world. Um, I was watching the cars stream off the ships. Uh, there was three thousand cars. You probably get a free car if you come down. You probably get a free car. The keys are there. Yeah, well, they were just say there was cars were coming off, so I'm sure the mayor will get you a free car. Um, um, <laughs> but it was a, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful city with vibrance and character and diversity. You know, we forget here where physically Elat is, right? You can see Jordan, you can see Egypt, and if you stretch yourself, you might even be able to see Saudi Arabia. You are at the center of the world here, and, and certainly in the center of the Middle East, so it's beautiful. 28 years uh, have passed since the Israeli peace agreement with the Jordan, yeah. uh, when it was signed. And the ceremony was held here on the common border of two countries. Does the United States, which was the mediator of the peace agreements, still have the involvement uh, in maintaining or encouraging neighborly relations between the uh, residents of the region? Every day. Uh, oh, every, oh, every day, as you know, as well, first of all, as you know, uh, Jordan and Egypt were, were early normalizers with the state of Israel, as you all know. Uh, recently, um, two plus years ago, two and a half years ago, the Abraham Accords were signed, which allowed both the Emiratis, uh, the Moroccans, uh, uh, and the Bahrainians to basically be part of normalization, which is basically the Abraham Accords. And the combination of those five, and Sudan, by the way, which we, they had some other complications, but those countries make up uh, normalized slash uh, Abraham Accord countries. And every day I work on this. Every day I'm looking at 
programs to work to. It's really all about people to people stuff. Listen, the money is important. The economics is important. Obviously, that's, that will happen. But it's about the people to people exchanges. The reason the American government supports programs here in a lot uh, on um, biodiversity and issues around ports and water and coral, and we have with those programs both Palestinians, uh, Israeli, and Jordanians, is again, it's about the people piece of this. So, yes, we are focused on it, making sure that there's the ease of travel between those uh, who live in Elat and Jordan to make sure we people are able to come back and forth as, as much as I understand uh, thousands of people come every day from Jordan working in Elat, right? A lot of people. It's very important. We've got to continue to increase those numbers and also making sure Israelis are going to Jordan to make sure those uh, are increased as well as obviously working with the Egyptians and obviously at some point the Saudi Arabian. Saudis. Uh, I would like to add is that uh, I believe that uh, the Abraham Accords are uh, a great opportunity for all the region. I can I forgot to tell you that two weeks ago there was a great uh, conference here in uh, the topic of marine biology and uh, agriculture. Uh, 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 Marine Agriculture, and the Minister uh, of Agriculture from Bahrain was here, and from the Emirates, and from Morocco, and from uh, uh, all over the world, you know, many countries uh, around the world. So it, I believe that really it is a great opportunity now to, to, uh, to strengthen our relationship here around. You know, first of all, we have our neighbors uh, near neighbors from Jordan and from Egypt and of course for all the region it is really a great opportunity for economic peace and to expand you know the, our uh, collaborations uh, and we have a few topics uh, that are very uh, uh, it is a great, great interest for, for the state of Israel of course for the city of Elat and for uh, the, the other uh, uh, countries around. Great. Last question? You got a lot of questions. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, okay. We have uh, a, an international airport in Elat, which is in, in principle can serve the, uh, as direct uh, connection for tourist traffic from the United States to Elat uh, and back. Um, is there any reason, a oh, good reason, to suggest that the United States Embassy in Israel will promote this kind of idea? No, it's great. I listen, I was on it today. I mean, I flew obviously flew to Tel Aviv uh, to uh, do a lot, uh, coming into the Ramon Airport. Uh, I got a tour by the uh, head of the airport. It's a beautiful terminal, by the way. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's, it was really Small well. But beautiful. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Okay. It's great. It's way, a, Direct flight from United States yes, to Vermont yeah. about from the, the, one uh, years ago. So yeah, and then the, yeah. that little pesky little coronavirus kicked in. Yeah. So I think you will, as as things as tourism starts coming back and they start working on it. So I think there is. It's a beautiful facility. There's no reason why we can't help promote more direct flights. Obviously, Europe, Middle East, the U.S. So I'm. This is a great opportunity for people to expand that. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Miami. He wants to Miami. Miami. <laughs> Why do you need Miami when you've got Elat? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Anything else? She's written in Minnesota. Ooh, look at you. Look at my bio. Okay, a bio person. Okay. Anything else? All right, guys. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Sure. Picture. Yeah, okay. All right, guys. Thank you all very much. That was fun.